Hello Ramose fam, welcome back again to another bang about the Finland government scholarship of 2022-2023. So we're gonna be talking about that. But before we proceed, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Finland or Finnish government scholarship, which is a full funded scholarship for undergraduate and masters, and you can apply up to six six different courses or programs using a joint application single application but to six different courses and there's no application fee for some countries but there's application fee for other countries so you need to check over there but you have also to apply to 50 english taught departments for both masters and undergraduate so the island isn't mandatory but we're gonna be need to check depending on the call the deadline is about 20 this january and we have limited application time so let's get started you're able to apply for much of the different degree programs forest business education whatsoever health and welfare yeah much of the business stuff medicine as well and much more and there are some universities which you might just need to you can see or check for the english taught programs and you're just applying for you to join during the spring joint program. So you can see over here much of the details. So there are some of the universities that they accept your application without the IELTS, such as Lut University, Lab University, Arcade, Hank, Hanken, Helsinki also, and Kanjan and Metropolitan University. You might need to check over here guys about the universe so let's click over here the link will be provided on the description box below but make sure guys you subscribe and follow us on instagram so coming over here you'll need to click on fill the application form will be brought over here and you can see how we got on top over here we got edit preview or submit the application so over here you can see proceed to spring or joint application start listing you might need maybe to go over here and do some of the look out for the programs that you can apply within joint you might see over here and you got some filters to go with them over here until down coming all the way to here you can see digital bachelors and masters but also you might choose over here maybe admission procedure so this scholarship are just offered based on admission which you got to the university so because we were over here now about the filling application just scroll down from here how to fill the application form just scroll down until the part scroll down where you see now application option add the program so once you click over here now you might search over here of your desired program but if you don't know about it you might need just to scroll over here down once you're not sure of, I mean, <laughs> scroll down over here and you might see show more about the programs available bachelors you scroll until once you get the one which you need if it's masters because we're still showing bachelors degree they got a lot of them so masters will be there down 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 so let's say for this i want just to apply maybe for advanced practice nursing apn let's say like i click add that so it will be added so you can add much more programs so you come a bachelor of fine arts you just add it maybe you want to apply for other you can add much more as more like just you need to add how many which you are interested over there and see all my selected courses have just popped on top over here so if you are applying also you need to apply for masters you might need maybe to search it direct from there and that's it so after you have selected your desired course you can just scroll down over here and the university you see you scroll down now you start filling the detail by putting your first name preferred or given name you might which majority of it will just appear to be the first name last name you add it over there if you got three names first name just write your first name and middle name and last name put your last name or surname so nationality you select over here you got options you select from here family then finish pass add identification you need to select here no so if i select maybe ethiopia so over here i'll select it no then you come date of birth you need to put over there the gender you select place of place and country of birth put as how they appear on your passport passport number if you got it if you don't got it you can leave it like that and you don't see it's not mandatory so this which with a black star on next to it meaning they are mandatory so then national id is not mandatory if you got it just put it over there then the email address 
please write your email again mobile number put it you can start with the country code like plus 255 for tanzania and your country you might need to check country of residence also you select over there for example reside maybe in eritrea ethiopia the address write how you write it in your country the postal code just put it over there if you don't know search it on google because your city is mandatory also then the city and country if you don't have one put any like just check on google you will get like you'll get it then city and country native language also you select the language which you are native for example maybe i select estonia or english whatsoever then you come down concept for electronic commission yes I have disclosure of information I've read and understood. Just like the agreement, my contact can be given to third party for purpose of direction and marketing. You might select no, you don't want it, and you might come maybe education institution may publish my admission result on the web page. Yes or no, you, you have the option. Contact language, if they send you the email, it should be in English or any language which you know. Then your education background over here, you need to fill maybe just finished matriculation examination completed in finland no bachelor's or master completed in finland no maybe you have we all will complete during the admission process so if you are high school just select upper secondary school completed outside like that because i'm applying for bachelor and you start filling the detail about maybe the year of completion the degree you have completed so via you just like the degree of computer maybe high school studies or high school pcb or science or art education institution write the name of the univers the, the high school you attended the country of country of completion the country you select over there you might add as well if you did it transfer you started to more than more than two different univers university or high schools if it's for bachelor outside finland or if you were just finished vocation upper secondary or any other check over there farm and then have you completed general upper secondary or vocational qualification yes or no have you completed university of or university of applied science in finland before yes or no read over there and check for the status you are already getting to know you can modify your program in case you need to add more to remove someone exemption from tuition fee you can see over there hide advanced this is for the start program you might read your passport and can card to i indicate the citizen of you or switzerland so citizens from european union or eea or switzerland these are exempted from the tuition fee payment but other members you have to pay <laughs> you have to pay you gotta pay for the application fee so if you click over there you need the am on finland yes or no if you click no copy of id you see you upload the details over there then passport id card page i need to see you upload the attachment and you come international uas exam <laughs> You need to read much about the details over there you come over here down personal login link and pin code in addition you can see no later than you have to log in to the first phase written exam of the that you might need to read over here guys and need to go through that graduation date of an upper secondary much more the universities you read more via the health thing then what that i selected for me you come over here, you read much of the detail, you select the languages, you scroll down, you upload the details. Because this is the joint, meaning all the courses that I've just selected now, to every university, they have different criteria. So you can see right now, once we started over here, you can see, once we started from here, let me, this JAMK or J Universal for Applied Science, you can see their detail, their required criteria, these ones, so that to get ac accepted, you can see. Or if you are applying to Universal of Helsinki, you can see over here, maybe they ask you, are you a student at one of the academic of you, yes or no? So they just require maybe this question. If you say no, then you come about, have you ever been a student? No, maybe you fill much of the detail via this is about helsinki university and if you come over here you can see this is a above academic university they have some of the requirement when you can see please answer if you are not going to apply for the scholarship so that that's the questions or the detail required by that university so that you get accepted or admitted to that university if you scroll down you can see 
much of the details. Now you are done. So after you have done fin filling all your details over here, above over here, you'll see this submit application has popped. Like now we see, we still see just we got the preview button. So over there we'll be able to submit. Let's do this roughly and show you. You click the submit and you ready to go. So if you just finish filling all the detail, you see just like the preview how it looks like. Now the preview won't be like that. The submit button over here will be in that way. And you click submit, you're ready to go. That is all about application for Finnish government scholarship. Much more, you can check the other video I did. The link is on the description box below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe from Ramon Z Farm.